What a fight against uh, Jonathan Christie. Uh, in the third set, you were down like six, seven points and then started a kind of a comeback that also brought the crowd back. What was going on in your head uh, when you uh, realized you were getting closer? Yeah, well, I was actually quite confident that I still had a chance when I was down, I think, 17-10 or something, uh, because I've seen from him before that he can get a little bit nervous. If you think back at the World Championships, he blew a 2015 lead in the third game. Uh, and I've been watching that match against uh, Cho Chen Chen a few times, so... I could kind of sense that he started getting that same kind of feeling again where he was a little bit eager to win the points and uh, didn't have the same like nice touch in the front of the court. Um, so I kind of felt like I still had a chance all the way through and that's also why it annoys me a little bit. On 1915 my game gave him a very, very easy mistake and uh, yeah, I should have just kept it in basically and let him uh, make the mistakes at the end. Yeah, and also that unsuccessful challenge at the end. Yeah, um, well, it was more of a hope. Uh, I thought uh, I still have one challenge left, so why not use it? I was pretty certain it hit the line, but uh, yeah, you, you can never be 100% certain. So I was hoping for the small chance that I was uh, wrong. It was uh, the third time you played him today. Um, third loss, unfortunately. Um, what was the difference? Uh, what made the difference today? Uh, compared to the other two times, so in general. Like why, why he won in the end? Uh, why he won in the end? Uh, well, I think. Basically, I'm making a few more errors than he is. Like I'm a bit more stressed constantly when we play because he plays a little bit faster than I do. Uh, and in the first game, I couldn't follow at all. I was stressed because of that. Uh, when I fi found some calmness, I still had a chance. But I think in all, he plays a little bit faster and I commit a few more mistakes. And yeah, in the end, a few more mistakes here and there makes a, yeah, a big difference in terms of winning and losing. Um, how does the uh, fact that you're playing a home tournament uh, also count into that? Uh, in, your, in your podcast you said that you usually didn't play uh, yeah. well at Denmark Open. Now it's another hall. Uh, how did you feel today? Yeah, I definitely prefer this hall compared to the other one. But uh, unfortunately it's still fast here. The shuttles are fast and uh, there's no doubt I prefer slower shuttles and slower conditions. Um, so it's not so much the like home court uh, pressure or anything that affects me. It's more the, the playing conditions they simply don't really suit my game. Uh, and it, yeah, I know it's the same for him, but it's just for me, I prefer the slower conditions. And apparently the holes we play in here in Denmark are a little bit faster. So yeah, this year was still better, but uh, I still wanted to be slower. <laughs> so now, as you said, you can prepare for next week. Um, mm -hmm. If I'm not mistaken, you're playing him again. In the French Open, um, already any plans, or are you have, do you have to analyze your game first? Uh, yeah, I haven't really thought too much about it yet, uh, but there's no doubt that this match gives me gives me confidence that I can play with him, even though he's playing faster than I am. Uh, I still have some tools to kind of get out of that. Uh, so yeah, it gives me some confidence that I can I can compete with him. Uh, but uh, yeah, I need to analyze before I make the uh, the big plan for how to uh, change the outcome in the end. Uh, you've talked about some retirement plans here and there, so I obviously have to ask this question as it's your home tournament. Uh, will the fans here in Odense see you again next year? Yeah, well, it depends if I qualify. If I qualify, I will for sure come back next year, and then I'm pretty certain that will be my final tournament. Uh, but I need to start winning some matches to make sure I, uh, I stay in top 32. So uh, I cannot guarantee anything. It depends on my performance uh, in the next uh, months. But yeah, we'll see. It's my plan to come back.